When we look at the enabling functions and how they share information with each other, again, the, the value created is, is kind of limited. So if you take comms and finance, how much interaction they have is kind of debatable. Um, but it's probably quite limited. You know, they're not sharing best practice, I would, I would venture. Um, they're, they're not sharing any great innovations. Um, client relationships, again, not much value there at all. So how are they helping each other deliver it on the day job? Well, it's not really happening. And you can score up the whole relationships and the, and the matrices. And again, take work within and insurance, yeah, not really a lot happening there. Each are doing great jobs individually and in their own silos and they're delivering value and delivering what their, their roles um, are set out to achieve but the benefits that could be achieved are not being realized. So when we look at the actual enabling functions themselves and look at the business streams themselves, how much help are they genuinely providing one another? How much value are these guys drawing out from the enabling functions themselves? How much value is being delivered? So if you look at materials, for example, in, in the businesses that centralize their materials procurement you know they could be providing good value to rail getting the right materials in the right place at the right time same with the road businesses uh, aviation businesses um, you know th there is value that, that can be constructed but are they delivering on the day job yes are they doing best practice yes by and large there is an element of innovation maybe an element of client relationships but they're certainly not, you know, they're not hitting it out of the ballpark in each of these things. There is an area in which they could be considerably improved. Again, work within can help. You know, you can't improve a, a business stream or a function without landing the sale. Um, so work within has a role to play, but is it driving improvement enough within those individual businesses? Uh, again, these guys have different leadership to these guys, so unless there's strong leadership that sits above it, making sure everybody plays nicely and drives the business on, the value is often left behind. Uh, as you see, health and safety, is it improving how these businesses are working? Well, some more than others, because the individuals connected to some of these businesses will have a stronger vision, will have a greater understanding of the importance of health and safety to their business, and they'll be able to attract more of the resources that sit in those departments. So there's a lot of thought that needs to be done on how we can, as an industry, get the best value out of all these structures that we've built for ourselves. So if we look at our tier one community and see how they work together, you know, how much value are they creating? Um, there's still a lot of duplication, back office duplication in particular, and lots of people doing the same thing. Uh, how are we dealing with inflation as an industry? Wages haven't risen, they're due to rise. How are they being controlled? The cost of imports? Is there a strategic way that we can look at these as a community? How do we procure packages with the subcontract community? How do we support the skills and develop them in those, in those tier two, tier three, tier four areas? Uh, our cost of capital, You know, it's a huge area. The cost of capital between all these firms is massively different. The offshore financial structures and, and subsidiaries, all completely different. Where they get their money from, all completely different. And there is an opportunity to, to improve it and equalize it a bit more. Material security, again, where we get our materials from, where we store them, how we can get them to the the clusters of work that's actually happening in the marketplace. So there's a hell of a lot we can think about as a community. My particular favorite, safety. We've seen great inroads over the years, and you know we're now down to 40 to 50 deaths a year as an industry, but this group have more of a role to play in leadership and educating the clients and the communities they serve. 